welcome back to my channel and today I'm gonna do a thoughts on and demo kind of video on this lovely box right here and this is the Deborah Littman Roses in the Snow. I bought it off the Sephora.ca website for $18 Canadian which I thought I got a pretty good deal because what attracted me to this box was this lovely color right here and I was like oh that's nice to pair it with something that's glittery. Great for the holiday season. Uh, I mean it's decorated with like snowflakes too, right? So I was like, oh, that's awesome. And unfortunately, these both of these are, I guess, travel size or deluxe size samples because they're only eight milliliters um, in fluid. And a full size, as you can tell, um, is 15 milliliters, which I don't, you know, value wise, it's not so bad, especially for someone like me. I never finish a bottle of nail polish before it dries up anyway. So why not try out something that, you know, is $18 for two colors and because I know a full-size one is about $20 uh, Canadian um, off the Sephora website and I strongly suggest you know anyone who's looking for a holiday gift for somebody this is fairly um, decent price and you know the packaging is gorgeous and it's easy to wrap you gotta remember it's in a box already right or you can always slip it in a gift bag or whatnot i have tried this out and of course i'm gonna i have a little demo on how i paint my nails and i hope you guys enjoy i start off with some clean nails but just for in case, I still pick up the Formula X Nail Cleanser. I apply that onto all of my nails just to get rid of oil, dirt, or you know, my manicure from before. I wait for it to dry, and that's when I pick up the Orly top to bottom. I use this as a base coat, so I apply it evenly on all of my fingernails. Just this alone, it's pretty shiny. That's when I pick up the Modern, uh, Deborah Lippman Modern Love and I apply this evenly on all of my fingernails. As you can tell, even with just one layer, it's pretty sheer. At least sheer for my liking. I wait for it to dry up a little and then I apply on the second layer of Modern Love, but not on all of my fingernails. I leave the ring finger for the um, as an accent nail so that I can apply on glitter for later on. As you can tell, one and two layers, you can tell the difference. I pick up my Deborah Lippmann Some Enchanted Evening and I use a patting motion um, to get the glitter onto my ring finger nail. If I sweep it, then all the glitter will come right off. And this is how it looks like with just one layer of glitter. While I wait for that to dry, I apply on a third layer of Modern Love to the rest of my other fingernails. As you can tell, three layers and two layers of Modern Love make a difference. And while I wait for that to dry, I put on a second layer of Some Enchanted Evening on my ring fingernail. And this is how it looks like before I put on a top coat. Once again, I use the Orly top to bottom as a top coat as well. It keeps my manicure shining for at least a good few days. I mean, you still want to protect your manicure, right? And this is how the end product looks like. Anyhow, I hope you guys enjoy that little demo video um, of how I demonstrate how I paint my nails. I know everyone uses different products and you might have like a slightly different outcome but that's how I usually paint my nails and I have to say unfortunately for this color itself I did have to use about three layers in order for it to be pigmented enough for my liking. Some people might be fine with just two or even just one. One seems a little sheer for my liking anyhow so, and that goes with a lot of Deborah Lippmann's um, colors. I do own a few, so I, I can kind of say that. Um, Glitter-wise, of course, I only use about one, one to two layers, and I have to say it does last me quite some time. And as you can tell, these are my nails after one week. Excuse my dried up cuticles, but as you can tell, the glitter held on a lot better than, I guess, uh, my other nails. And I have to say, I do do chores, I do wash dishes, and, you know, I've been cleaning and so forth, so, you know, 
my nail polish never really lasts for more than a week. I, I try to change up my colors on a weekly basis anyways. Um, I, I did get my first chip after three days, like I got a little chip and you know what? That always happens. If you want to avoid something like that, then I suggest maybe applying on a top coat every other day if you want it to last slightly longer. But you know what? Your nail does grow out, so therefore, eventually, you got to take it off and, you know, apply on a new um, manicure. Anyhow, I hope you guys found that a little useful and maybe this would be a gift for yourself or for someone else um, on your Christmas list. I know it's slightly early to be talking about that, but it's already November, so meaning we only have about a month to two months till Christmas. Anyhow, I hope you guys found this video useful or helpful in any way. If so, give me a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye bye for now.